Hey everybody, it's Ricardo, and we are here at the Dice Summit in Las Vegas, and I'm standing with Pete Hines, who's product manager for Fallout 3, and that seems to be the, the game that never ends, so what do you want to tell us about what we're seeing here today? Uh, we're letting you guys have a chance to take a look at The Pit, which is the uh, second downloadable content that we're putting out. Uh, it's coming out uh, in March for Xbox 360 and PC, and you know, something that extends the life of this already huge game even further, give you something new and different to go play. So, Pit obviously refers to Pittsburgh in happier times. So, do you want to talk to us about what we're going to get in this piece of content, what we can do? Sure. The, um, it, you know, the, the Pit revolves around the story of um, this, this city, the Pittsburgh, that uh, wasn't hit by the bombs, but has obviously um, suffered the effects of, of the world after the war. And it's it's um, it's a basically it's a slave pit, and there's this conflict between the slavers and the slaves, and you get pulled into it, and you have to decide which side do you sympathize with. Um, it's about this cure that somebody thinks that they found for mutation, which obviously in the world of Fallout is pretty important, and you really have to decide who are you going to side with, who are you going to believe, and it's it's designed to be morally ambiguous, and it's more of the kind of Fallout experience that you might expect from the original game, whereas Anchorage was a bit more actiony and intentionally so. This one goes back to more of the, you know, big quest where you kind of get to decide your path through it and how you want to play. Are you going to try and talk your way through situations or fight your way through, you know, which side you want to, to join with, that kind of thing. So that means there's plenty of kind of role-playing content. Uh, is there any new content in terms of weapons, items to pick up, things of that nature? Absolutely. You know, we've got some new new weapons, new creatures. So there are these creatures, the trogs, which are these these mutated creatures that you know have come out of the mutation and the radiation uh, that that exists in the pit. So the humans turn into these really gross-looking creatures that'll attack you in certain parts of the pit. Um, we have a couple of new weapons and different armor sets. One of the new weapons is the auto axe, which is one of the slaver weapons. This giant melee weapon that's got this huge serrated blade on it. Now, as far as length, now you mentioned it's not <clears throat> it's not like a full-fledged expansion pack, but it seems pretty meaty from what we've seen so far. Yeah, I mean, we want to give something that, that gives folks a good value for, for their money. It is 800 points, so something that adds, you know, four or five hours of new um, gameplay, give you...